Hi everybody, I'm looking at the brand new Schwab Digital Clipper plugin, the Gold Clip. And gold indicates something special. There's the gold knob and there's also the alchemy knob. And we're going to find out what those two knobs do and why is this different than the other clippers you already know. Soft clippers, hard clippers, all of that, right? Uh, you can try it for two weeks. It's free, works fully. There's no uh, limitations. And you can also buy it now for $250, 249 It's pretty pricey. If that's too much, you can uh, pay it in installments, 25 a month for 10 months. Here is the Schwab Digital, and let's take a closer look in Cubase. I loaded in three drum loops. They're all different. One has a little more bass, low end. One is more on the mid and high. One has some nice peaks we can clip off to test this plugin. On this side is the clipping section. There's the mysterious gold knob, and here's the blue alchemy knob. You can turn them on and off. In the middle will be your waveform, and you got the sliders for the input and the output. There's a link button, so you can move them. So if you increase the signal, it's going to compensate, you know, the, the gain, so you don't, uh, you know, you get the same level on the out, or if you pull down the gain, it's going to increase the output right so that one we've seen from other uh, companies as well on this side is a parallel you know uh, a slider you can have it all in now it's the entire processing you can go 50 50 right to parallel between the dry and the wet signal or anything you desire in between which i like a lot just moving it like this and find a place so that's cool uh, you have a delta button you can hear what you're actually processing and what gets clipped and uh, yeah, and it shows you the, the LUFS in the output and input, and it also shows you how much you clipped and the time. So when you play a song, it might show you at 2 minutes 50, you clipped by, you know, 5 dB, which is the loudest, uh, you know, uh, the highest peak you clip. So this is very nice. You can go back to your song maybe and take a look and say, why is it so loud over here on this one spot, right, for instance. Uh, a bypass button, you got uh, the box tone, rolling off the highs or slightly different or not. You got the three clipper modes, the hard one, the, the classic with a softer knee, and then the modern one, you know, different curve. And the gold button has two settings, modern and classic. And one gets you up to 60 B of boost in the lower, you know, actually all through, but more in the lower part, we get to that. And the modern only 2.5 so it's a little more gentle more more you know uh more open transparent and the alchemy knob will also do something special for the higher frequencies and it will uh, attenuate uh a db in signal when you hit the clipping so let's get to this let's uh, play the first loop uh, i inserted a limiter before the gold to make sure we, some of those drum loops are quite hot. And they said, do not go in with more than zero. It, it, it will not be good for the, uh, the gold you know, calculations. So I put it in at minus 0.3 dB. Okay? So I'm staying safe on all those three different loops. There's no you know, uh, distortion coming in. All right, so here is the loop. The claps are pretty loud, right? We can chop those off if you want the clipper to use. So you can uh, pull down your ceiling. And here on top, you see what we just chopped off. If I go further in, it's going to affect the kick. Nice. Sounds good already, right? Now, this knob, the gold knob, will do some magic to your lower frequencies. It's not really a compressor. And let me pull over the manual. They say that modern emulates the soft loudness saturation processing of a famous modern mastering converter. So what it does, it is actually looking at the frequency, you know, let me see what it's... So it will raise the lower frequencies, you know, pretty much 
all the way across, but it will analyze every single sample and it will not affect the transients and the peaks. That's different to a limiter. But if you just raise everything up by 6 dB after analysis, you still might have want to clip, you're going to clip those 6 dB <laughs> up here, right? So what the goal does, it rolls in. So there is no chopping off here. And this is the magic. So up to 6 dB on one setting and up to uh, 2.5 on the on the other setting. So let's see how this sounds in action and listen to the to the low end. So that's the gentle setting at 2.5. Let me switch to the other setting. So you can hear the transients are all there. Nothing got changed. Uh, the clapping almost stayed the same, right? But that that low end kick really got way more definition coming up uh, 4.4 dB. Now there could be problems uh, are the on, on the higher end sometimes when you when you clip, you know, artifacts, and that's what they say. The the alchemy almost works like a deesser, so it will sweeten those high frequencies at 2k and take them down a little bit. And they also explain this in their nice little manual here. It's not too many pages, by the way, 26, <laughs> if you have time to read this all. But here it says, alchemy reduces mid and high frequencies by a maximum of 1 dB. And see, depending on the input level, it just goes a little bit down here, right? And of course, if the input is minus 6, it's a little bit. By minus 4, here you are, by minus 2 dB, it sits here and the maximum would be at zero input. As when we hit the top, it's going to go down one dB. So it makes it a little smoother for your ears on, on, on the highs, right? So let's see if we can hear it. They said it's so subtle and I've got some good uh, AKGs here, good headphones, but it's very hard to hear. Yeah, it's so sorry. Maybe it's just a feel too. I don't really hear it, you know, and it's good. It shouldn't be dramatic, right? It's a, it's, it's a slight adjustment to make it sound better. Uh, let's go to the second loop, which is uh, more high, high frequency, mid frequencies, high frequencies, no kick. Right, so we can set the ceiling for dropping off maybe those high guys a little bit. Hard clipper. All right, let's try the gold knob. I think I hear a little bit here now on the alchemy. And if you go into the uh, parallel mode, very cool. Um, because I really like that the transients, nothing gets affected, right? You still have the same punch. It's just a little more. It's a little more in your face. This one has a lot of kick. Let's get rid of the, uh, the clipping. Let's not do clipping for now. Let's keep it at zero, okay? Now let's try the gold knob. Yeah, you can hear the punch, right? The perceived loudness went up a little bit, but still the, the same attitude and 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 the Christmas crispness of the transients—they're all there. So it's a cool plugin. 
I really like it. I have to test it on full mixes because they also recommend, you know, try it on, on a full mix. But I thought let's give it a shot on, on some drum groups first. Uh, yeah, pricey, 250 That's definitely up with some of the, you know, other ones that are in the... <laughs> in the high-end range here, but I think it's worth it. But uh, be your own judge. Uh, get the free demo, two weeks, run it through a couple of things, play with this knob and see if it does anything you can do with your other plugins. Let me know what you think. Alternatives down in the comments. And thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.